Hi there, welcome to the Fuller Hemp House in Western Massachusetts. This is a timber frame home with hempcrete insulation and lime plaster finish. This home features natural, carbon beneficial, reused, and local materials. These factors, along with its bright, flowing, and welcoming open floor plan, are part of what make this sustainable home so special. To start off, let's take a look at the ground up process of creating this kind of home. We can start with the foundation. The Fuller Hemp House has a superior wall foundation system. This is a pre-manufactured wall system that supports the home using a combination of concrete, steel studs, and EPS foam. This system allows for minimal concrete as a footer, instead relying on crushed stone beneath the building. Even though this process cuts down on concrete, a material that generates a lot of carbon emissions, this foundation system is the most carbon emitting component of the entire house. That being said, carbon emissions were heavily taken into account in this project, and the carbon balance of this house would be roughly zero minus this foundation system, which totaled to under 1,400 kilograms of CO2, as you can see in this chart showing the breakdown of carbon storing and emitting aspects of the home. Before we continue, let's briefly discuss carbon emissions and their relationship to building sustainably. This home is a carbon beneficial building, meaning it is made up of materials that absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The secret is not that it's high-tech or complex, instead it is harnessing the power of the plants. These natural building materials absorb carbon dioxide during their life, and that carbon stays locked in the biomass of the plant. Protected in the wall of a structure, these materials keep the carbon locked away from the atmosphere. To get back to the construction process, once the foundation was ready, the frame of the building could go up. As mentioned earlier, this is a timber frame house, meaning that the home has post and beam framing. This was done with local wood, which decreases the amount of energy and emissions needed to get the wood from being a tree to framing a house. Once the framing was completed, the wall insulation could go in next. Hempcrete, which is a simple, non-structural insulation material consisting of dried industrial hemp herd, a mineral binder, and water was packed into formwork. The mineral binder has a very interesting relationship to carbon dioxide in that it actually absorbs CO2 as it dries and cures, in addition to all of the CO2 that has been absorbed by the hemp itself. Hempcrete has many benefits. It is completely fireproof, pestproof, and because of both the hemp and mineral binders within it, reduces carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Another massive distinction is that hempcrete wall assemblies are vapor open, unlike most typical modern day high performance homes, which usually have a barrier that blocks vapor. This means that hempcrete homes naturally regulate their temperature and humidity, making them extremely comfortable to be inside. Once the hempcrete reached the roof, the next step was lime plaster. This finishing material is used because it is vapor open, like hempcrete, allowing the assembly to breathe. Lime plaster is on both the interior and exterior of the home. To add color to certain walls, pigment as well as milk paint were used, as these are also vapor open materials, unlike many modern paints. Many materials were reused, including the cabinets and counters, the wood-burning stove, and more. Wood from the site was used for flooring, trim, and exterior sills. As the house neared completion and had a sealed air barrier, a blower door test was also done to test the air changes per hour. Now that we've gone through some of the details of the construction process, let's take a tour of the Fuller Hemp House. Stepping into a hempcrete home, the first thing that we notice is how comfortable, warm, and inviting it feels. The air smells fresh and clean, and even with multiple people conversing excitedly, sounds are even and pleasant. Natural building materials dominate the finishes of this home. Slate from old billiard tables make up the countertops, and local and site-sourced wood defines the edges of each space and frames the view of the surrounding landscape. Let's venture outdoors. A Fujitsu air source heat pump provides cooling for this home, yet thanks to the incredible temperature and moisture buffering capacity of hempcrete, this unit sees very little use. This system was used only 10 times throughout our hot and humid New England summer. This is because hempcrete materials dramatically decrease the heating and cooling demands on this home. Back inside the main living space, you see pine boards lining the walls. This simple alternative to drywall adds warmth and beauty to the space, makes smart use of site-felled trees, and lowers the carbon footprint of the home. 
A lime plaster finish called Tadalact was used in the shower to create waterproof walls. Local Goshen stone dust creates the shiny iridescent gray color. The timber framing details speak to the craftsmanship and care that has gone into this home. Upstairs, milk paints are used over lime plaster walls to add variety and to set the mood of each space. Sierra triple pane windows bring ample light into each space without sacrificing efficiency. Softwood finishes create a high-end feel without breaking the bank. Even though it looks expensive, this house prices out comparatively to other new conventional construction in our area at $235 per square foot. By combining good design and thoughtful construction with local natural building materials, the owners gain an affordable, healthy home without sacrificing any of the quality of life features that make a house a home. Lime plaster finishes work beautifully with hempcrete walls to provide a vapor active building system that manages moisture and temperature passively. Good air tightness detailing at the sills, ceiling, and penetrations using plaster ready products from 475 ensures that this carbon smart home is also energy smart. So the main priority when I was designing this home was to make a home that was comfortable and simple. But it evolved from there because I was introduced to the opportunity of doing hempcrete by Jennifer Martin of Hempstone. And I've always been interested in doing a natural building. I've just not found it practical most of the time. So I was really excited with the opportunity to be able to do sort of a simple, functional, an affordable home that was also natural building and had this added benefit which I hadn't even considered until uh, we sort of got onto this topic of the you know being able to do carbon sequestering so you know the whole design process was uh, obviously sort of a progression and I did started trying to sort of work with a bunch of other people a few few other designers in the beginning and kind of concluded that a lot of them just weren't that interested in the taking these sort of ideas of carbon sequestering and natural building seriously enough. And I ended up doing most of it myself, um, you know, with, with the assistance of Hempstone for, you know, the some of the detailing on uh, the hempcrete and, la and plaster specifically. Did my own layout, I did my own timber frame design. Um, I had the assistance of my wife for a lot of sort of the final uh, details as far as like how the bathroom was designed and stuff like that. Uh, but I, even though I had attempted to work with an architect for some of the detail work, that didn't end up working out. I ended up having to basically do it uh, exclusively on my own. So it was, uh, but it wasn't that bad actually. I thought that with a foreign material like hempcrete, the design process would be challenging beyond my capabilities as uh, an upstart uh, design builder. But it actually, I think it, it worked out really well and the detailing was not uh, excessively complicated for a small to medium sized house. Living in this hempcrete house has been really, really phenomenal. Uh, the uh, Air temperature has been super well regulated. Uh, we've had very little operational cost, even though this is not, you know, by any means the most energy efficient house that one could build by sort of a number standpoint, the, the functional operation of it has been really uh, very good. Uh, it could probably be more airtight, uh, but that's sort of on me. Um, and, uh, you know, but, the monolithic nature of the insulation has been really amazing. Um, with just one wood stove in this house, uh, 14, 1500 square foot house, <clears throat> it has managed to keep all the rooms, including rooms, same floor, far away, you know, basically the same temperature. And I really attribute a lot of that to the monolithic nature of the hempcrete itself, because really there's not much airflow. 
So these all these rooms that are sort of in the back of the house are not getting air moving to them from the wood stove. That heat is transferring through the actual material mass of the house, uh, which is really a, 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 a fascinating phenomenon. Um, you know, one thing that I sort of, I've become a nerd to is the, um, the smell of the house, which, you know, to me it's sort of, it's very neutral, it's my house, but basically everyone that I've had come visit this house has said, wow, this house smells great. You know, it's the pine wood, I think, is a, plays a big role of that. The, the lime, it has this unique um, smell. Um, but the main thing I think that a lot of people sort of are, are probably noticing is that it doesn't smell like mold, you know, and it doesn't smell like off-gassing plastic. It doesn't smell like carpet, you know? So there's a, sort of this thing where um, one of the benefits of living in this house is not necessarily all the things that it provides, but also a lot of the things that it doesn't have. Um, so yeah, it's been really, you know, it's been really great uh, being in a house that's sort of so simple and functional. So that is the Fuller Hemp House. We appreciate all of those watching and we want to thank every individual who was involved in creating the work of sustainable art that is this home. It takes a village, but it is very worth it. Are you tired of paying high costs to keep your home comfortable? Drafts, chills, gusts of wind, and moisture can cause discomfort in your home as heating or cooling escapes. Our goal at Farnham Insulators is to make your home as comfortable as possible. Making your home more comfortable will save you money as a result. We help prevent your hard-earned money from escaping into your attic and eventually out of your house. We use a variety of techniques to keep your home comfortable and improve indoor air quality. We combat the problems in your attic, basement, and walls that allow energy to escape. By reducing moisture infiltration in your basement, we help keep your home warm and dry. Insulation and air sealing help prevent heat from escaping your home. We install gutters that move water away from your home, and we provide a warm coat of insulation to keep you protected from the elements and feeling cozy at any time of the year. Visit FarnhamInsulators.com today to start your journey to a healthier, more comfortable home. Do you have a concrete foundation? Rooter Foundation Repair stops leaks from cracks in the wall and around septic and water lines and stabilizes both concrete and concrete block walls. We can often provide quotes from pictures texted to us at 802-579-9309. Sierra Pacific, windows that never compromise. Our mission, to do it right, to never compromise to make the best windows and doors you can buy in the most sustainable way possible, from seed to delivered product. At Marvin, we make more than just windows and doors. We make fresh breezes and nightlights, relaxing retreats, open invitations, and peace of mind. At Marvin, we make windows and doors inspired by how you live, so you're inspired to live well. Visit WW Building Supply, your local Marvin retailer in Newfane or Wilmington. At Friends of the Sun, we sell, install, and service all of our products. You see, selling wood, pellet, or gas stoves aren't sidelines for us. Neither are window treatments, awnings, or outdoor furnishings. They are what we do. We're knowledgeable about the latest technology in heating and cooling, and we display only those products in our showroom. Once we understand your needs, chances are good we can show you the right product. 
please visit us at www.friendsofthesun.com. Building Right is me, Pete Yost. My work encompasses all aspects of building performance with an emphasis on moisture control and heat transfer. I work with architects to review design and specifications, and I work with homeowners, builders, and remodelers to do initial assessments of buildings or investigate failures. Go to www.building-right, that's right with a W, to see what I can do for you and your building.